Hey everybody out there in internet land, it's that time again. Yes, my beard has gotten to that itchy point where I want to rip it off my face with my bare hands. And you know what that means. It's time for another talking time lapse video with me, your good buddy, Josh Davenport, creator of RG Bros Comics. Uh, today we're doing the uh, time lapse video of RG Bros Manufacturing. This video, as well as RG Bros Comics, are as always brought to you by the fine folks over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com slash Josh Davenport. Uh, so thank you to Brandon, Dan, Vivian, Matt, and Mike uh, for uh, all your uh, your support, uh, especially uh, going into this, our fourth year of uh, Comic Making Madness. Uh, so here we are, starting off with our pencils here. You got a nice boardroom situation going on, and... Uh, when you when I thought about this in my head, I was like, you know, had this picture of like shot down a boardroom table from one end to the other with like at least six or seven people sitting there, and then I was like, again, that's uh, gonna draw six or seven people just for this one shot. So I decided to simplify it a little bit. Sometimes you have to do that. Maybe if it ever gets to the point where I'm making these comics, like you know, for eight hours a day, which you know, maybe that'll happen. That'd be awesome. If it does, you're gonna get shots like that because I'm gonna be like, I got all day gonna plow through this and get a big old fancy boardroom scene going on but as for today uh time crunch means you got to cut it down to three uh two being the backs of heads one being the uh main lady here uh so uh to start off i think i need to do a quick retraction or uh walk back some statements i made about uh, super mario run that app i made on here uh a few while uh, i think it was a couple weeks ago but i was talking about playing it for the first time and saying how like the toad run multiplayer thing on there uh kind of gets choppy and apparently that's just because of the ipad i was operating on now uh this is not like you know the original ipad or anything but it's definitely not the latest and greatest tried it on a newer version and it runs just fine. You still get a little bit of uh, slowdown here and there, but nothing like what I was experiencing. So, uh, just going to have to say that it's not that bad. The multiplayer uh, Toad Tour run, or uh, yeah, I think it's called Tour. No, Tour is the main thing. This is a Toad Rally. That's what it's called. Uh, so, you know, if you got a newer iOS device or a newer, you know, iPad, iPhone, you'll be fine. It'll run like a dream. Um, let's see here, you know, scooting things over. I'm about to do uh, a secondary character here. I can't remember what I called this guy. But uh, you'll see here in a minute I make a mistake <laughs> with his back. So I go and I make too uh, wide of an arc on his back here to begin with. Then I go in and I fix it and make it a little bit more natural. But then when I go in and ink later, I end up inking the bad line. Uh, so it looks like he's got some weird muscles on his back or that he is uh, smuggling loaves of bread in the uh, in his lower back, which is always a possibility. This guy looks like he likes to eat a lot of bread. It's possible. Uh, but other than Mario Run, i uh, been playing uh, The Last of Us, finally, after a billion years. I know I'm only, gosh, how many years late to the party? About three now. Uh, but it's a fun game. I'm really enjoying it. Um... One thing, and I'm sure a lot of other people commented on this by now, but this is my first time playing through it, damn it. And so I'll say what I like. Uh, you know, a lot of the game is stealth-oriented. You're going through places, and you have, like, people and monsters. You're trying not to tip off to you there. And you have even, like, you go into, like, sneak mode, and that's not enough. Certain things you have to, like, be in sneak mode and push the joystick, like, just barely to make sure you're not making any noise when you walk around. And so you're going out of your way to be as quiet as possible. And then, like, not only the NPCs in the game that you're running around with, but your character as well will start being like, I don't know what's going on around here. And, like, whispering, quote-unquote, as loud as they possibly can. I'm just like, what the hell, man? I mean, it doesn't ruin the game or anything. I find it hilarious. But it does break a little bit of the immersion at that point when you're, uh, standing within like you know three feet of this thing that's supposed to be able to pick up like any sound at all like a pin drop and you're like i don't know how we're gonna get past these guys you know like that kind of stuff uh so i found that pretty hilarious uh so 
This video here is coming out a little bit uh, later than I would have liked. Again, I think I went over this in the last video or the video before, but I'm still having some technical issues with uh, Adobe Media Encoder, adding all kinds of uh, temp files somewhere, and they eventually go away and the memory frees up, uh, which allows me to do like another video, but it's it's causing me no end of uh, frustration here. So I've been having to uh, find other computers to work on and go out of my way to, uh, you know, just make these work and get them in in a, in a reasonable amount of time. So bear with me while I continue to figure that out. Uh, there we go, doing the uh, Toasty Pal Mark V. And even notice again, uh, with my fantastic hand lettering here, I get way too far before I can get the five in there when I first started uh, penciling it. And then turns out I'm going to hide the five behind this dude's head. So, you know. The uh, heater that you see here in the comic is actually uh, almost exactly the one that I have uh, in my office right now. Uh, you know, I had uh, another couple, this whole thing is based around, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the uh, news post of the day, but you know what, I'm going to say it again, because this is America. I can say what I want. Uh, <laughs> um, I've had a couple other uh, space heaters before this one, uh, some of them much nicer than this one. And then uh, either my dog or somebody else's dog, yep, there's that weird back flap right there, uh, will come along and just go to town on the freaking cord. And I haven't had that problem with any other electronics in the house. Like, I've got all kinds of stuff here. You know, I've got my TV, I've got video game systems, I've got com a computer, printer, all this stuff, router, everything hooked up with cables. The dogs just go out of their way to pass up all of those and chew the freaking um, portable heater up every time. I don't know what the deal is. Dogs, if you're listening, leave a comment. Let me know, uh, first, how it is you've gained enough sentience to uh, leave comments on a YouTube video. And secondly, what is so freaking delicious about uh, space heater cords? I'd like to know. I think the world wants to know, not just me. A couple of speed lines in there, a couple of motion lines. Gave this lady a wicked smart dress and uh, business jacket thing there. I think if you'll notice at the beginning, I drew the dress uh, a little short and then ended up uh, fixing it a little bit. Also, if you go back in the video, you may notice that uh, originally I was going to put Reggie in here instead of Baxter, but then I felt it might be more in character for Baxter to be more upset about the heater for some reason. Um, so uh, Gilbert's eyes were originally pointed up because uh, that's where Reggie was going to be, and I went back and changed it. And I debated whether to put Baxter in his uh, puffy coat, but I figured he hadn't gotten to that point yet. So I left it off. That wasn't just me being lazy like the uh, the boardroom scene. I just figured it, it worked better this way. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. There we go. Putting the old eyebrows on him. Okay, draping that, that cord out of his teeth there. Have you noticed Friday's comic came in a little late? Uh... It wasn't a day late or anything like this sucker, but um, turns out I got a message from some friends of mine in the middle of the day, Thursday, and they were looking for a place to uh, do some quick uh, shooting on a uh, monster hosting show that they're doing on YouTube coming up, and they were wanting to know if they could use uh, part of my house and like some little kids' instruments and stuff I had around here, and I was like, okay, that's fine. So they came out uh, later in the evening and... Uh, I helped them uh, deal with that for a little while, so it uh, goobered up my sketch a bit. But uh, you know, I don't mind too much, I like helping to uh, help my pals out. So that was fun. I'll let you guys know when they ever release that and point you to uh, what was slowing me up. But I also had Friday off, and I figured, you know what, I'll just stay up super late Thursday night, which I've done, you know, on occasion, and get this done. I'll help the guys film, and then do that. And it just didn't come together. I got way too tired and woke up Friday and uh, just started cranking out the comic. And it took a while, but, well, you know, we got it out. We got it out on Friday, so it's still cool. Still on time, as long as it's within the day. That's what I'm telling myself. A nice little green 
Riddler question mark back there. I don't know what the weather's like where you live. Uh, here in Alabama, we had a massive snowstorm. Well, not really. We had like one night of ice sleet falling from the sky. and uh, But we are incredibly ill-prepared for that kind of stuff around here. So like the night, Thursday night, they actually uh, released like a state of emergency for the following morning because they didn't know how crazy the snow was going to get. We got just a little bit of, you know, sleet snow or whatever. And then uh, they, uh, the temperature stayed low, so it stayed frozen. And that my daughter's school just called us a few minutes ago and let us know that they're not going to be going back to school tomorrow. And uh, my work, which is at a university full-time, was uh, canceled last Friday. So that's why I was able to get up and uh, work on the comic throughout the day. If it hadn't been canceled, I would have been up way later on uh, Thursday night uh you know, ramming through the comic just to make sure it got out, and I probably would have suffered a little bit considering I was going so late. But, you know, I don't want it to, that to ever happen. So most of the time, if I feel like the comic's not going to work out as well if I try to do it that night, those are the times that it'll end up uh, going a little long in the day the next day. But I try to as far as I can uh, most times to get these things to you, to you fine folks uh, within a, a decent time frame. But, uh, so, we had this big snowstorm or whatever, uh, quote-unquote snowstorm, and so uh, I was on my way home, and I was like, luckily, we already went shopping the day before, so we weren't uh, going to be out in the mad dash to everybody to get, like, bread and milk. We went shopping just because we needed to go shopping, not because we was going to go, it was going to snow or anything. But then on the way home, uh, Kim called me, she's like, you need to, you told me to remind you that you got to get, uh, like, an air filter for the house, and I was like, ah, oh, crap. So then I ended up going out to a store in the middle of this mad dash to get these things. And then I remembered, oh, for sandwiches, I want to get some mayonnaise. So I got a mayonnaise and I got an air filter. And uh, going up through the line, the person there checking people out, I was like, uh, you know, trying to crack a joke or be stupid or whatever. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just getting those uh, snowstorm essentials, you know, uh, mayonnaise and air filters. And they just weren't having any of it. Not that I can blame them, because they surely have been uh, in the middle of some mad rush the entire time. They don't need a jackass like me coming in, uh, making a fool out of myself, which I was trying to do. But they're just like, oh, uh, well, why don't you have any bread or milk? And then, like, I just, I didn't come back with any of that point. Because I was like, what I just did, either did one of two things. It just went right over their head. Uh... They chose to absolutely ignore it because it was so stupid. Or they just didn't pay attention. All they heard was snow essentials and, you know, whatever. Either way, it was a real awkward situation. So, you know, fantastic for everyone involved. Got a few little air puffs coming out. There we go. Pump that script in there. It's a weird thing. You know, Photoshop keeps your... And, you know, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Keeps your uh, text settings in there. So every once in a while I go in here and just throw my uh, text in and it's in some crazy font that I used for something weird the time before, but it's a quick two-second thing to go back and change it. It's a lot better than uh, having to go in and change it every time I go in to do a comic. So I can forgive you, Photoshop. This time. I hope people enjoy that warranty card line there at the end. Because uh, I don't know about you, but we, you know, every time we buy something, it comes with a little warranty card. And I just wonder how many people have actually ever mailed in that thing. Uh, have you done it? Let me know. Because you'll be the first person I've ever talked to who's actually sent in the warranty card. And not, uh, I mean, some of these things have like online things you can go on and fill them out. But they always send out that little card too. And, uh, Never done that. Got nothing against it. Just never done it. Putting in the uh, word bubble tails. One of these days, I'm going to master word bubble tails. Someday. They say, you know, spend 10,000 hours doing something. And it's usually at least, you know, one or two minutes at the end of these things. I'm laying out these uh, word bubble tails. So someday, you know, I'm going to have to uh, divide 10,000 hours by that. But it looks like we're wrapping up here. Thanks, everybody, for uh, checking out the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. And I'll catch you next time. See ya!